Hello guys, welcome to Chemical Hub and so today we are going to start a topic called isopropanol. So first of all, isopropanol is a C3 chemical having chemical formula CH3 twice CHOH. Let us discuss about the methods of production of isopropanol. Isopropanol is produced via direct catalytic hydration of propylene and the other method is by hydration of propylene via sulfonation and hydrolysis. So here in this video, we are going to discuss about hydration of propylene via sulfonation and hydrolysis. Let us discuss about the chemical reactions of this process. The first reaction is sulfonation. For sulfonation, propylene is added to concentrated H2SO4 and we get isopropyl acid sulfate. Second reaction is hydrolysis. The isopropyl sulfate formed is added with water to form isopropanol which is our final product with H2SO4. The side reaction taking place here is the ether formation where diisopropyl sulfate reacts with water to form diisopropyl ether and H2SO4. The raw materials required for this process are propylene, sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide. Operating conditions the operating conditions are room temperature and 20 to 25 atmospheric pressure. Now let us discuss about the flow sheet for this process. First of all, pure propylene or a mixture of C2 and C3 compounds are fed into a reactor. The pressure is reduced to 20 to 25 atm using compressor. Now the 70 to 75% concentrated H2SO4 is added to the reactor for uh, in a counter current mode to the tray column where reactive absorption occurs. Here the sulfonation reaction takes place. Here the refrigerated brine is used because the reaction is exothermic so as to control the temperature we add a jacketed arrangement to the reactor. Next the unreacted, unreacted compounds uh, which are generally the saturated light and light compounds are separated via gas stream from here. Then the solution is then sent to the hydrolyzed, hydrolyzer stripper where it is hydrolyzed in a stream stripper which removes organic phase as vapor form and then the organic phase is then sent for caustic wash where acidic impurities are removed using NaOH. Then a mixture is sent to the partial condenser where unreacted propylene is separated from alcohol and we get al alcohol and ether mixture from over here. This mixture is then sent to the ether column where ether is removed and some amount of ether is sent to the C2C3 gas mixture while the rest is used for other industrial purpose. Next, the isopropyl alcohol and water is separated from bottom which is sent to the IPA column. From the IPA column, we separate water and heavy end compounds and from the top we get 87% pure isopropanol. This 87% pure isopropanol is again sent to the azeotropic column. The top of the azeotropic column has a low boiling point azeotrope whereas the bottom product contains 99% isopropanol. The isopropanol and water from the top is again recycled back to the IPA column for further use. Hope you understood this flow sheet. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe the video.